Hello Meili, can I explain any marketing research concepts? Professor Siegfried, what is triangulation? Well Meili, triangulation is a method used by qualitative researchers to check and establish validity in their studies by analyzing a research question from multiple perspectives. Patton, 2002 cautions that it is a common misconception that the goal of triangulation is to arrive at consistency across data sources or approaches, in fact, such inconsistencies should not be seen as weakening the evidence, but should be viewed as an opportunity to uncover deeper meaning in the data. Professor, are there different types of triangulation? You are right Meili, there are five types of triangulation. First type is, Data triangulation involves using different sources of information in order to increase the validity of a study. For example, a research project that aims to research attitudes of various stakeholders, to mining close to sensitive environmental areas might conduct in-depth interviews of local community citizens, mining executives and government officials to gain insights into their perspectives on environmental problems and opportunities. Second type. Investigator triangulation involves using several different investigators in the analysis process. Typically, this manifests as an evaluation a team consisting of colleagues within a field of study, wherein each investigator examines the program with the same qualitative method interview, observation, case study, or focus groups. Third type, theory triangulation involves the use of multiple perspectives to interpret a single set of data. Unlike investigator triangulation, this method typically entails using professionals outside of a particular field of study. One popular approach is to bring together people from different disciplines, however, individuals within disciplines may be used as long as they are in different status positions. Fourth type, methodological triangulation involves the use of multiple qualitative and or quantitative methods to study the program. For example, results from surveys, focus groups, and interviews could be compared to see if similar results are being found. If the conclusions, from each of the methods are the same, then validity is established. Fifth type, environmental triangulation, involves the use of different locations, settings, and other key factors related to the environment in which the study took place, such as the time, day, or season. The key is identifying which environmental factors, if any, might influence the information that is received during the study. Professor Siegfried, what are the advantages of triangulation? The benefits of triangulation include increasing confidence in research data, creating innovative ways of understanding a phenomenon, revealing unique findings, challenging or integrating theories, and providing a clearer understanding of the problem. Refer. Thurmond, 2001, page 254. These benefits largely result from the diversity and quantity of data that can be used for analysis. Professor, how about the disadvantages of triangulation? Well Meili, one of the primary disadvantages of triangulation is that it can be time-consuming. Collecting more data requires greater planning and organization resources that are not always available to lead researchers refer, Thurmond, 2001. Other disadvantages include the possible disharmony based on investigator biases, conflicts because of theoretical frameworks, and lack of understanding about why triangulation strategies were used refer, Thurmond, 2001, page, 256. Thanks Professor, for explaining triangulation.